The Martelet bow stroke is really important for developing the skill of straight bowing. And the reason for that is that when you're doing a long, slow bow, it's very easy to sort of do micro adjustments in the direction and placement of the bow as you go. So even if that bow is starting to drift out of the bow lane, you can sort of keep tethering it back in as you go because the bow isn't moving that fast. So you're able, to, you have time to make those micro adjustments. Martelet, there's no time. Martelet means literally a hammer stroke. So in other words, bam. So the, the, the violin, Martelet stroke, you're shooting that bow out very rapidly, sounds like this. And it's a little bit of an airy sound because we've got so much bow speed and so little weight. So another name for it is the poof bow. So what I have to do to successfully do that Martelet stroke is I have to um, aim uh, my bow along the existing bow path and maneuver the angles of my arm to stay on that path, but I have to do all of that math, so to speak, before the bow moves. Because once I commit to that motion, I'm committed all the way through. There's no time for course correction. So the first martelet exercise that we're gonna do is simply this bow, and I call this bow and arrow, where we're just literally doing some down bows, we're aiming and we're shooting, and then we see if we made our target. I kind of went a little astray on that one. I went a little toward the fingerboard. Let's try again. Mm, same problem, so I need to kind of shoot out a little more this way. Oh, now I had the opposite problem. So, um, so we're just going to kind of do a few bows to kind of get that skill of aiming. You can think of where is the screw of my bow pointing? because that screw should be pointing the same direction at the end of the bow as it was at the beginning of the bow. So if it's pointing here at, the, at right now, it shouldn't point there by the time I finish.